Well, good morning, South Lake family and friends. Blessed and happy Thursday. So Proverbs 20, three words of wisdom for your day. Verse 12, Proverbs 20 says this, ears to hear and eyes to see. Both are gifts from the Lord. One translation says from the omniscient Lord. The message version says eyes, ears rather that hear and eyes that see. We get our basic equipment from God. What a great thought that is, that God has given us the omniscient, omnipotent God has given you and I as finite people this basic equipment. The suggestion is, is that we would use it, this great gift of hearing and seeing, uh, to his glory and for his purpose. And the Passion Translation says, lovers of God have been given eyes to see and ears to hear from God. So to me, the word of wisdom for the day is to trust this gift has been given. And so I will expect as I go through my day to day to hear what God wants me to hear and to see what he wants me to see. And I'll give all that back to him for his glory. Uh, Verse 18, second word of wisdom says in the Amplified, plans are established by counsel. So make war only with wise guidance. I'm so thankful for our church council. This is on my mind because we just had our meeting last night, sort of our year end meeting and planning for this next year, um, the Financial Council of Southlake. And it's, it's a group of people, always has been, uh, men and women who make that up, that council that just are such a gift to me, helping me lead the church in terms of vision and practical ways in terms of finances. Uh, we're really one body, one group. We move together, different opinions on things. But that's the point that it's saying here is that we all need counsel. We all need wise counsel. We need people in our lives because, listen, It says, make war only with wise guidance. The truth is we're in a war. We're in a spiritual war. So every decision of my day today, I want to make sure that I've got people around me for counsel, that I'm not going it alone. Um, The Passion Translation says, if you solicit good advice, then your plans will succeed. So don't charge into battle. That's our tendency, isn't it? Temptation to charge ahead. Don't charge into battle without wisdom. For wars are won by, this is great, skillful strategy. So to trust that the Lord has that for me today, but it's because he's going to put people in my life that are going to help me in the decisions of my life. And then the third uh, word of wisdom is verse 24, Proverbs 20. It says in the Amplified, a person's steps are ordered and ordained by the Lord. A person's steps are ordered and ordained by the Lord. How then can a person fully understand their way? (laughs) And that just makes so much sense, doesn't it? Even though we try, we try to understand everything that's going on and have it make sense. Um, Another translation says, the Lord directs our steps, so why try to understand everything along the way? (laughs) We can't, but we try, but why should we try? And the Passion says, it is the Lord who directs your life. For each step you take is ordained by God to bring you closer to your destiny. What a powerful thought that is. So much of your life then remains a mystery. I love that. That God is directing my life today closer to my destiny so I can trust him in the mystery. And that's my prayer for us today, South Lake family. That really these three words of wisdom would be realized in our life. That we would trust that we're going to see and hear from him today. That we would surround ourselves with people even just one or two that will help us in decisions of our life and just be that guiding voice of wisdom. And then thirdly, that we would understand that he is directing our life. What a powerful, confident thought. Sovereign God is leading us. So we can trust in his leading that not everything's going to make sense. And I'm not going to force it to make sense. There's a mystery, but he's, he's, made, he's leading me in a way that will bring the fulfillment of my destiny. What a great, great promise. So Lord, today, we just commit the day to you, our way to you. We trust you in these things. Thank you that you will provide for, protect, and direct us, our families, our church family, especially, Lord, today. We pray you would help us to trust that you are ordering our steps and that our destiny is being fulfilled. Help us to trust you in the mystery because we trust that you're leading us in our destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Say amen with me, will you? Amen. And amen. Well, God bless you as you continue to fast and pray with me um, over these days, and I'll be praying for you. Let's pray for each other, and I'll look forward to talking to you again in the morning. God bless.